from a secretly removed card to a card so OP it needed an emergency nerf. Here are 25 facts that only Clash Royale veterans know. Number one, I guarantee you've seen this emote before, and that's because it's a Clash Royale classic. What you probably didn't know was that way back in 2016, these emotes sounded very different. Just take a listen. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> While it is unknown exactly why Supercell removed these sound effects, it was likely because they just wanted to keep one sound effect per emote. Number 2. While Barbarian Barrel is a card very commonly used in today's meta, did you know that once it used to be really bad? The Barbarian Barrel was released in 2018, and actually used to knock back cards. Wait, so then why was it so unpopular? Well, it cost 3 elixir, and while that might not seem like a lot, that one elixir made a really big difference. It also couldn't deal knockback to tanks, which kinda just made it a worse version of Log. Number 3. If you played back in 2016, you might have remembered how overpowered Expo used to be. Cause not only did it deal an extremely high amount of damage, it could also shoot air troops, and reach towers even further back. Now that's crazy. Expo has since gone through a plethora of nerfs, and while it's still a very viable option, it's nothing compared to what it once was. I'm not gonna shoot the giant skeleton. Number 4. The Bandit is a great troop to surprise and punish your opponent, but in 2018, this got a little bit out of hand, because if your Bandit didn't directly walk over to the tower, it would glitch out and dash over and over, and now he's three crowned. This glitch has since been removed, and the bandit is now back to normal. Sorry to all the veterans, I just gave PTSD. Number 5. Did you know there was a legendary card that was so bad, even Supercell called it trash? That's right, if you played back in the early stages of Clash Royale, you'd know that the Sparky was one of the worst legendaries you could obtain, being labeled as the trash can on wheels. Now that's harsh. The Sparky was so bad because of its speed, plus the fact that it could be countered with only one elixir. Yeah, Sparky sucks. Number 6. Legendaries used to be so rare that people would spend thousands of dollars just for a chance at getting a few. The best way to get legendaries back in 2016 were through super magical chests, which cost 3,700 gems, the equivalent of $37. Compare that to today, where you get multiple legendaries just for playing the game. And yeah, times have changed a lot. Number 7. Fire Spirits used to have three Fire Spirits, costing two elixir. Fire Spirits were also extremely versatile, and could even counter Goblin Barrel all by themselves. Clash Royale later changed the Fire Spirit to a one elixir troop with only one Fire Spirit, which helped a lot in the purpose of cycle decks. However, many people preferred the old Fire Spirits, and just desperately hope that one day we might see that famous trio again. Number 8. Imagine seeing this push coming at you. What should you do? The answer is you do nothing. You are completely and utterly screwed. This deck was the Lava Hound clone deck, which was played by getting a bunch of spawn units and cloning them, resulting in a basically unstoppable push. For months, this deck dominated Clash Royale before it was finally nerfed down. Even still, this deck caused a ton of pain during the time it was played, so veterans, I'm sure you definitely remember this one. Number 9. Ice Spirit used to freeze troops for a total of 1.5 seconds for just one elixir, making it the strongest defensive card in the game. I mean, this was way too too good for one elixir. While Ice Spirit had its time of glory, Supercell nerfed it down to a 0.5 second freeze. However, even with this nerf, it's still as popular as ever, so you can only imagine how good it was back then. Number 10. If you play Graveyard, you've probably heard of Giant Graveyard, or even Bowler Graveyard, but did you know that in 2017, the most popular graveyard combo was Ice Golem Graveyard? Yeah. Players would play Ice Golem to tank for the graveyard, and then kill the opponent's counters with spells. However, you never see this happen happening nowadays, as the Ice Golem Graveyard combo is way too easy to counter with new cards and balance changes. Number 11. In 2016, Clash Royale partnered up with an organization called Product Red, and this good cause ended up giving us the Red Tower skin, something that was only seen once in 2016 and never brought up again. This happened even before tower skins were introduced to the game, so this one is especially exclusive, and almost nobody owns it. Clash Royale also had a red loading screen in honor of their Project Red partnership. So good job, Supercell. Number 12. If you watched the Clash Royale trailers, you'd have seen one with the Ice Wizard, effortlessly freezing each opponent into an ice cube. This is kind of funny, considering in the real game, he'll literally die to a fireball. He didn't always die to a fireball, though, as when he was first released, he was able to survive the fireball with just a few hit points left. Unfortunately, Supercell decided to nerf this poor card for no reason. I mean, come on, guys. It's already bad enough. Number 13. Think the monk is OP? Well, introducing the the 2017 Night Witch. The second
second players joined the new challenge, they instantly realized how stupidly overpowered this card was. I mean, this thing could take its hour all by itself. And it's a weak support troop. Clash Royale issued an emergency nerf for the Night Witch after they got thousands of complaints saying it was ruining the game. But this 2017 Night Witch variant will forever be remembered as Clash Royale's most overpowered card. Number 14. Speaking of overpowered cards in Clash Royale, did you know that the Royal Guards were so powerful that Supercell had to have downtime after the card was first released? This card could spawn a literal wall of guards for just six elixir. This six elixir was enough to stop any push, whether it be P.E.K.K.A., Golem, or three Musketeers. Supercell scheduled an emergency nerf for this card and increased the elixir amount to eight without changing any of its stats. Still, this card is extremely annoying. So, hey, Supercell, if you're listening, how about another nerf? Number 15. When first released, the Magical Chest used to be the best affordable chest in the game, having a pretty decent chance at a legendary and being nowhere as expensive as a super magical chest. When people opened magical chests, it felt like something magical, especially when you unlocked a legendary. Ah, <sighs> man, that one hits hard. Nowadays, it just kinda sucks. Number 16. The Golem in 2016 used to look like this, with a red collar around its neck and this custom explosion effect. It was pretty cool, especially compared to our lame Golem now with crystals. The Golem was also a lot better back then, having gone through some pretty bad nerfs throughout history. Number 17. Remember when the Magic Archer was extremely weak, not even being able to one-shot a Spear Goblin? Yeah, it was that bad. While the long shots and cool design compensated a little bit for this, Magic Archer was still something a lot of the community hated. However, as time went on and Supercell buffed the Magic Archer's damage, it went on to become one of the best and most loved cards to date. Talk about a change! Number 18. Log used to have an insane range, being able to roll 11.6 tiles, which allowed it to hit the tower even when placed in a lower tile. Log also used to knock back cards 1.5 tiles, instead of the one tile it pushes them back now. Log was so good that Supercell decided to nerf the life out of it multiple times. I mean, it doesn't do any crown damage, and it's still the most used card. Number 19. You used to get wooden chests once a day for free. While they normally weren't too good and only gave commons and rares, if you got super lucky, you could sometimes find a legendary from one. And the feeling of this, ah, oh, you couldn't beat it. Because legendaries didn't have the super long animation they have today, it felt like more of a jump scare than anything else. Supercell has since removed the wooden chest, and now we just have silver chests. Rest in peace, wooden chest. We loved you. Number 20. Skeletons used to spawn four skeletons in a square formation. These skeletons were named Larry, Barry, Harry, and Ledoux. Wait, why name him Ledoux? I mean, that's such a weird name. Anyway, Ledoux was later transferred to the skeleton army, giving it a total of 15 skeletons, nerfing skeletons and slightly buffing Skarmy. It's useless knowing about this, but hey, if you're a veteran or just don't go outside, you probably already were aware of this. 21. Clash Royale has only ever removed one spell, the heal spell. After you years of players asking for someone to heal towers or troops, the heal spell was Supercell's answer. So naturally, it was a really interesting concept, being commonly paired with the Inferno Dragon and troops that deal lots of damage. However, the heal spell never really found its place in the game, with a usage rate at a record low of 0% by the time of its removal. This was back in 2017, so if you're a new player, you're welcome for this fact. Number 22. Graveyard used to be OP. Instead of spawning skeletons from the outer rim of the graveyard like they do now, they used to randomly generate anywhere inside the circle. This made it so that many more skeletons would spawn closer to the tower, thus leading to much more damage. This made pushes like Ice Golem Graveyard so much more powerful. Graveyard was a menace back in 2016. Number 23. If you competed in leagues in the early years of Clash Royale, you probably unlocked what's called a draft chest. Now, a draft chest is probably the coolest looking chest Clash Royale has ever released, and probably one of the best too. You could unlock the ultimate draft chest, which gave you guaranteed legendary and had a newly introduced choice system that players loved. Number 24. When Mother Witch was first released, players first labeled it overpowered because it did so well against Graveyard. But if you later played against Mother Witch, you'd realize how easy it is to kill the hogs. Regardless, due to fear at the time, almost everyone put Fireball in the deck, making the Mother Witch well, kind of useless, unless you're playing fireball bait. Number 25. If you managed to win a tournament back in 2016, you could unlock the best chest of all time. Just look at that. 100,000 gold, thousands of cards. Is there anything else I even have to say? I mean, it took two weeks just to unlock. Oh yeah, and could you subscribe? That would help us out a ton. Thanks.